Hi and welcome to our video Introduction to Computational Thinking with Ms. White Have you ever been faced with a problem and did not know what to do? In this lesson, we will discover one way that can help you solve your problems. One such way is computational thinking. What is computational thinking? Computational thinking is solving problems logically with or without computers. What do we mean by computational thinking? Well, let's look at our keywords to solve. That is, to find an answer, a result, an outcome, or a solution. We want to solve a problem. What is a problem? Any task that requires a solution. And we want to logically solve our problems. Logically means in a way that makes sense. We can solve problems without a computer. For example, you do not need a computer to brush your teeth. However, you may use a computer to write a program to find the average of three integers. Can you think of some everyday problems? Here is a list. Feel free to add to our list. How do you solve complex problems? Well, we can develop a clear understanding of what is the problem. We can come up with multiple solutions to the problem. And then we select the best solution. Computational thinking can help you solve complex problems. Why is computational thinking important? Because it provides steps we can use to help us solve challenging problems. What are those steps that we can follow to solve our problems? They are referred to the four pillars of computational thinking that we can apply to solve our problems. What are the four steps? Step one, decomposition. We break a problem into smaller, manageable parts that are easier to solve. Step two, pattern recognition. We find the similarities between things. Step three, abstraction. We focus on what is important and ignore unnecessary details in order to simplify the problem. Step four, algorithm design. We design step-by-step -step instructions to follow to solve the problem. We apply these four steps to solve our problem. Let's look at, a, at an example. Andy assignment is to find who is the fastest man in the world. We have identified the problem. To find who is the fastest man in the world. Step 1. Decomposition. Break the problem into smaller parts. How do we decompose a problem? We break down our problem into smaller parts that are easier to solve. Therefore, Andy can ask someone or search online. When he looks at the smaller parts, the problem becomes easier to solve. Step 2. Pattern recognition. Find similarities between things. How do we recognize patterns in our scenario? Andy has received assignments like this before. Based on past experience, he knows he can search online to find the information for his assignment. Step 
Step 3. Focus on what is important. How do we apply abstraction to find a solution? Andy can use his smartphone, a tablet, a computer to find his information. However, how many devices he has is irrelevant. He can use any device that allows him to search his information online. This is abstraction. Focus on what is important. Andy will use his computer. Algorithm design. Create a set of steps to solve the problem. How do we design an algorithm? To find his information, Andy performs a search online. One, he navigates the search engine on his web browser. Two, he types in his keywords. And three, he presses enter on his keyboard. The steps Andy followed is an algorithm to performing a search online. And there you have it. It seems like the fastest man in the world is Usain Bolt, a Jamaican sprinter. Let's recap. Computational thinking is made up of four steps that we can use to help us solve a problem. These steps are decomposition, pattern recognition, abstraction, algorithmic design. You may be already using these skills. Can anyone be a computational thinker? Yes, even you. You may be a computational thinker already. Okay, learners, if you want to learn more, follow Andy and use your computational thinking skills to find out more information about computational thinking.